Hi there. Today we'll talk about seven things that Final Fantasy XIV didn't announce in the live letter that are coming in patch 6.2. Or I just missed them because I don't speak fluent Japanese. Some of these are huge and I really just can't wait for patch 6.2. The biggest change that I haven't seen in a while is we're getting a new duty roulette. Yes, a level 90 dungeons duty roulette. We will still have expert roulette for those who are at endgame, but now we can also do level 90 dungeons. This just means more tombstones for all of us each week, even though there is no shortage of getting them now. Number 2. HP restoration over time will no longer generate enmity with each tick of healing. Now this is freaking huge. Before healers, let's take white mage as it's easiest for this example, should not have been casting regen on the tank before he pulls the mobs as the regen and the healing with ticks would generate enmity which could pull the mob pack to the healer. If this has happened to you as a healer, now you know why it's because of the regen being on the tank before he hits the mob. Now, any regent, which is White Mage and Astro, or a few of the Sage or Scholar abilities, will not generate aggro, and this is going to be a huge quality of life for Sprouts and new healers, who tend to overheal. But it is noteworthy that the initial cast will still generate aggro, so no spamming these things, as you shouldn't be doing that anyway. I think this is just going to make the experience more enjoyable and less fussy for some of those new healers and sprouts. Number 3, the drop rate for the mounts for the Extreme Trials of Endwalker, no spoiler name, has increased with this patch, which is now a perfect time to go back and farm them with the group once you get high level gear to make the fight a little easier. I'm really looking forward to getting these mounts. I'll put a little picture up here for you guys. This one's not so much of a new thing, but some new players don't catch this right away, but now there's no restrictions on loot, which means we can finally go back and farm all the glamour from the Alliance raid. Previous to patch 6.2, we can only pick up one glamour piece a week, but now we can pick up as many as we want and keep running it over and over again in order to get the glamour pieces we want for the jobs we want. The glamour itself is very Greek looking and I quite like it, so I want the glamour for a lot of my other classes as well. For those of you who craft, we got a gigantic quality of life update with scripts currency. We now can hold 4,000 scripts instead of 2,000. This is going to be huge because doing custom deliveries alone each week would make you max out on scripts and you had to spend them in between doing the two custom deliveries because they would cap out and you would lose on scripts if you didn't do that. This will make stockpiling scripts easier after the new patch, but make sure that you get some collectibles ready to turn in for the new master recipe books coming out. Moving on to PvP, and if you didn't play before, you're gonna wanna play now because with the new season of Crystal Conflict, we are getting a dragon mount for rewards. It looks like the reoccurring theme is gonna be level 25 in order to get the special glamour or mount, which last season it was glamour, and I just think it's so incredibly cool that they're giving us mounts for rewards, which I think more players are readily wanting to collect. Lastly, Final Fantasy XIV just out here thinking about everyone and finally have made some updates for colorblindness. Now, I can be ignorant and I don't struggle with colorblindness myself, but it seems making the colors darker or more vibrant could help, but I thought the whole purpose was they couldn't register the color altogether. Or maybe it's shades of colors. I wish something they would just add is that you're able to change the color yourself like we can with the NPC names for markers, stack markers, and things like that. I know it's a lot of coding, but it could help a lot of people to enjoy the game a lot more. I know it can be a really big point of frustration for those of us who are colorblind, so I'd really like to know your thoughts about the issue down in the comment section and what you think some appropriate changes would be for that. These are just some really cool things that they added that weren't mentioned or I just missed them. But I really feel like Final Fantasy XIV is really thinking about all aspects of the game now. And with Island Sanctuary being added, we're really going to be spoiled this expansion. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.